Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Publisher. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can link text boxes together and get text overfill sorted out. So first of all, let's do it on a blank document. So if I do a click on this, get a blank document, and I'm going to draw or create three text boxes so you can see how it works. So I'll click on a text box and just draw fairly small one because I want it to go into overflow. Now at the moment um, this hasn't got any borders or anything like that on it so I quickly want to put some borders on it. So I'll go to shape format and shape outline and it's got no outline there but I want black outline so you can see it and then I'm going to copy this three times, just dragging it down with my control key press. You see the little plus sign next to the mouse pointer. Do that again, let go and pull it down. So I've got three text boxes. Now, if I type in a text box, it will go into what's called overflow. If there's not enough space in that text box, so if I just, there you go, you've got the symbol there. And that tells you that you've got text in overflow. So if you ever see that in Microsoft Publisher, you've got a problem. It's not showing all the text. So I'll just undo that text, get rid of all that. What you can do, and what is often set up already on documents, is linked text boxes. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to create a link by clicking. I've gone onto text box. If I'm not on the actual text box, that's not there, look. So create link, move. So I started on the first one. You get this little cup of coffee, it's a strange symbol, but basically you want to be pouring this into the second text box. And then you get this little arrow, which then becomes an arrow on the other one, and it's a navigational tool between these two text boxes. Now if I click into the second one and do the same for the third text box, pour that coffee in there, I've now created links with all three. So if I start at the top and type something, so... Steve Saxton and then just touch some random stuff because I can't see what to put. It should flow over into the second box. Which it does, and if I keep going, it will flow over into the third box. Now another way of doing that is as you get to the overflow symbol, as you get to the end and the overflow symbol appears. If there is no other text boxes, you can't just leave it like that. Now you could just draw another text box which should, and then do the link, but this is a, a great little feature. If you click on these three ellipses, you get the cup of coffee and there isn't actually a text box, but it, if I click my mouse, which I'm gonna do now, it just creates a text box. So then you can just carry on. So every time you get into overfill, if I keep typing, as soon as you get this symbol, you get a cup of coffee and then you can just pour it in and then carry on typing like so. So that basically is how you create links between um, different boxes. Now, if you didn't want these links, you can actually break them. There's a break option there. I'm not going to break them because I, I do want to keep the links, but you can break them. So if you link to the wrong box, whatever, you can, you can um, just break them. Now, if I start off with two pages, let me just insert a second page. I've got a new document on the screen, so I'll click on uh, Insert Page. So I've got two pages, and I'm on the back onto the first page. So I'll do the same thing again. Draw a text box, put a border around it so I can see it, and then just make it quite small. Now, if I copy that and put it onto the second page, so I just did Control C there second page and then paste control V and then go back to the first page and from there I want to link create a link get the coffee I don't want it on this page go on to the second page and pour it in there so now when I click on that it should go to the first page and if I click on that it goes to the second page you can see this bit going green here so if I type on the first one, on the first page, Steve Saxton, type something at the end. So I get overflow, and it's gone into the second page. You can see it there. So 
you can either link these on the same page or you can link them on different pages. Now when you create a document or use one of the templates, if I go File, New, just pick, in, pick out one of these, go for a newsletter, that's what I want. So I'll get a newsletter. So these are all populated with sample text and you can see there there's a there's a link to this box and there's a link to that picture. I don't know why I'd have a link to a picture, but you go you go from the arrow to arrow if it shows one. Now because it's linked, nothing will happen if you go into overflow, but this one, this second box, is not linked. So if I start typing anywhere in here, this will overflow into a bit small, should I say. So when you type it, it's going to go into that second box, and I'll make that smaller. And you see you've got a link there to a third box. So this is all already linked up. And then I'll make that one. This one does not have a link. So if I keep typing, what you're going to get here is it should go into overflow. There you go. It goes into overflow, and then you've got the option of clicking and creating another text box underneath like we did before. So the same principle applies. These have all got these little arrows on and it's a spare text box there. It looks like there's a spare text box nearly everywhere on the right hand side. So these have already been pre-populated and linked but it doesn't stop you getting text overflow in the last sort of text block. So you just have to be careful when you're doing uh, entering data in Publisher that you don't go into overflow and if you do go into overflow that you notice those three ellipses and when you see the three ellipses you can create an extra text box and then it will link a link into it. So a very quick video on linking text boxes and looking at text overflow. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye. See you later.